I hope everybody's uh, week is off to a good start. Of course, it's Monday, so how much of the week could be bad at this point? But it seems like most people have, you know, the the Monday downers, uh, and Monday blues. Seems like everything goes wrong on Monday. Um, but anyways, uh, last uh, last video I live video I did, I was talking about um, being happy, and one of the things I talked about was being thankful, um, and how when you're a thankful person. Um, you're more happy and um, so this week uh, I went to a leadership uh, conference uh, it's called Church Boom um, the leader was uh, Chris Songson if you've ever heard of him I, I don't know but if you haven't it's not a big deal um, and uh, one of the things uh, is he had he had a local pastor um, a guy I've known for a long time Eric Montoya come up and when Eric was talking he gave a list of different benefits of uh, thankfulness, and I wanted to uh, share those with you. Um, but before I do, you know, um, those of us who have anxiety, um, we like to hope, you know, that we're just going to do this really simple, easy fix, and all of our problems are going to be gone. We'll never have a struggle with anxiety ever again. But for the grand majority of us, we know that that's not really how it goes. And so then we face a lot of disappointment, or maybe we go through a season when it seems like our panic and anxiety isn't so bad, and then it just like re it feels like we're going backwards again, and we don't know how to get out, and we just get real discouraged and um, real upset about it. And uh, the the fight with anxiety is more of an ongoing thing, and what you do today determines tomorrow's success. And so, whereas you might be in a slump, um, if you you know focus a few things on today, it can really help you with tomorrow. And one of those things is thankfulness. Um, if you focus on being thankful, even the, in the midst of a relapse with anything, really, even if you're talking about like addiction, if you focus on, on the thankfulness, it will really cha uh, change a lot of things. And I'll get to that in just a second. Um, but last week, um, when I was up there for the leadership thing, I uh, it was up in Albuquerque. Now, um, if you followed me for a while, you know that Albuquerque was the place that it all started for me. All the all the panic attacks and, and all that stuff, it just really escalated there when I was going to community college. Um, I was about 17, and I, I, had, I, I had had problems with anxiety and depression before, but that's just kind of where everything just kind of, the crap hit the, fill, hit the ceiling. And um, so I, for the longest time, I was unable to leave, my, leave the room of my house in Almogordo um, and then, uh, you know, uh, through process and Gracie's constant support, um, I was able to go, you know, walking outside and then you know, uh, going, driving around the block and then driving into town and, you know, step after step after step and, um, you know, really pushing further and further. Well, last year, for the first time since forever, um, I was able to go back to Albuquerque again, um, you know, because I've been working with my anxiety, I've been really pushing it. Um, and so there was this thing that Gracie had said a couple years ago. She said, um, I want to go to this place called, um, to this volcano and ice cave that's in Grants. And I was like, I'm never going to make it to Grants. I can't even make it back to Albuquerque. There's nothing out in Grants. Like, there's, I don't have any family. You know, there's stuff in Grants. I don't mean to, it's a really pretty place. But my point being, you know, I wouldn't even, you know, if you've had anxiety, you know, you go from thing to thing, right? I can make it from here to here, you know, so you have your safe places. Well, see, here's my safe places, and here's Albuquerque, and then way over here is Grants. So it's like, you're, you're asking way too much for me. And uh, this time what I did was I went up to Albuquerque. You know, I, I didn't make a bunch of promises. I didn't set myself up for failure. I just had this mindset. Let's see what happens. So I went to Albuquerque. The next day, was the second day we're in Albuquerque, and I said, you know what? Let's go and see if I can make it to the ice cave. If I can't, nah, we'll turn back. Problem solved. But so, so we go, and I make it all the way to Grants. So I make it all the way to the, to the ice cave, and that's why I bought this shirt. I don't know if you can see it. But it says, I climbed a volcano. And then here at the bottom, it says, um, Ice Cave eh, and Bendera Volcano. New Mexico's land of fire and ice. And this shirt is really special to me because it's a testament to me about how not only have I pushed my anxiety and I've been able to go back to, um, back to Albuquerque, which was like, it, Albuquerque was my, was my kryptonite. I was able to go back. And I only had minor panic attacks while I was in Albuquerque. But then also I was able to drive way out into Grants to go look at this uh, volcano and ice cave, which how cool was that? And I took the family and everything. Everybody had a great time. 
and I came back, so I drove there and back same day, and I didn't have any panic attacks while I was on the trip. I had a few minor panic attacks in Albuquerque, but not for that day trip. And um, one of the things that helps and has helped continually is being thankful. You know, I have a lot of crap that's happened in my life, much like I'm sure you've had a lot of crap that's happened in your in your life. And you can either uh, focus on the things that are making you upset, or you can focus on the things that are making you happy. Um, but you really only have space in your head for one or the other. And so being thankful really is an all-consuming pursuit. And one of the things that, that Eric said at this, at this leadership thing uh, with the, were the seven benefits um, of thankfulness. So the first one was it opens the door to more relationships. When you are a thankful person and you express that to others, it, it makes you feel good and it makes them feel good. And so people are kind of more drawn to you. If you're someone who's always complaining and, and, and nagging and gossiping and that kind of stuff, people really don't want to spend a whole lot of time, time with you. You know, it's, a, it's a, kind of an ongoing joke. You know, if you have in-laws that maybe are very gripey, you know, you don't really want to go and spend the whole time being stressed out. People just don't really like doing stuff like that. Um, you know, but when, when you're a thankful person, it rubs off on other people, and then they start to be thankful, and then it just kind of starts kind of a, uh, a movement. And uh, it helps people to accept you more. Now, you might say, well, they need to accept me how I am. Well, yeah, I get what you're saying, but at the same time, you do need to improve yourself. Um, I mean, I'm happy with who I am, but I still want to exercise so that I get healthier. See what I mean? Um, I don't have a problem with fat people at all, um, but I want to be healthier. It's a, it's just like that. Uh, it's like saying, you know, I don't I don't have a problem with you know people who aren't physically attractive, but that doesn't mean that um, I don't think I should take showers. You know, you see what I mean? Like it's just not really connected. Um, um, but when you decide to become a thankful person, it really helps you in your relationships. The second thing um, is it improves your physical health. Um, people who are not thankful tend to be um, more, uh, have physical ailments, um, not feel well. Um, you know, when they have things like the cold, it seems to linger a little bit more. Not, not to say that being thankful is the cure-all. And also, I'm not saying that being thankful is, you know, going to someone and saying, thank you. Being thankful is an inner attitude of just, it's accepting the situation and focusing on, on the positive things in that situation and just choosing to be grateful and appreciative for um, the good things rather than focusing all your attention on the bad things. It's not that when you are, when you are upset, you attract bad things. I'm not saying that. that. That's nonsense. But I am saying that when you focus on the things that you're thankful for, it's easier to see things that you should be thankful for. Um, so it improves your physical health, makes you feel better. The third thing is it enhances your psychological health. Um, you know, you'll just up here, you'll think clearer, and you know it, it helps you. Um, and it's just real, real closely connected to the last point. So, hang in there for point seven. But um, it helps you to deal with things better, and it helps you to not be, um, to not think so bad all the time. It's like this: if you walk in in a, in a field of grass every day and you just walk it over and over again in that same spot, you're going to form a trail. And the same thing is true of, of our brains. We think a certain way, and when we think the same way over and over again, it helps us, and not helps us, it causes us to repeat the same thinking patterns. In the, in the case of being someone who's not thankful, if you continue to, to complain and, and whine about stuff and gossip and all that stuff, you're going to form a, bra form a path in your brain, and that's just going to be your go-to. Whereas when you start purposely and intentionally deviating from that trail, and choosing to be thankful, you're forming a new, a, new, a new path. And your brain is constantly rewiring itself. It's amazing. So it will actually rewire itself to, be, to focus on the positive aspects. And you'll, it'll kind of that, that, that path that you had formed earlier will start – your brain will start losing that focus. But here's the bad side. When you do something once, it's easier for your brain to relearn the pattern again. So if you slip back from thankfulness into complaining again, it'll be easier for you to compl start complaining again, and it'll be harder for you to stop complaining again. Um, so I hope that that kind of makes sense. Um, so it enhances your psychological health. 
The next thing, uh, number four, uh, it enhances empathy and reduces aggression. So in other words, it helps you to uh, feel for others, helps you to feel sorry for them, to um, relate to them, to, um, to uh, connect with them. And it, it reduces your aggression. So if you have like a problem with anger or whatever, being thankful actually helps that. Now these are all, all seven of these things are scientifically proven. Um, they did a lot of different studies and these are things that are proven benefits of thankfulness. I'm not talking about what the Bible says or what the church says or anything like that. I'm talking about what just people doing studies has shown us. And I'm not saying these are this, this is exhaustive either. There's probably other things out there too. And excuse me, number five is um, people who are thankful sleep better. So a lot of times, you know, we can't sleep because we're mad or whatever, and then we're mad because, you know, see what I mean? We, we teach ourselves to always look for the bad, and then we want to act, I'll act however I want. Well, that's fine and everything. It's just when you act however you want, well, there's consequences to that. You can't live your life only for yourself and expect to be happy. It's just not going to happen. Uh, maybe you'll be distracted for a time being, but eventually you'll come down off that mountain, you will crash, and it will be painful. Um, so the sleep better. Number six, it improves your self-esteem. In other words, when you're thankful, you feel better about yourself. Um, now this has to do with you know how our brains are wired and how the, our brains release chemicals and stuff. That's a whole big thing. So if you want to learn more about this, just um, Google search uh, benefits of health benefits of thankfulness or gratefulness. Um, either or. Um, so then number seven, and it increases our mental strength. Now this is very closely re related to the point three that I mentioned earlier. But the point here being, um, if you have something like PTSD, it'll be easier to cope with it and it won't seem so severe if you're thankful. Um, if you go through a very traumatic experience but you're a thankful person, it, the effect of it will be lessened. Um, if you have uh, physical illnesses and stuff like that and you focus on the thankfulness, it's not that the, it's not necessarily that the, that the illness gets any better. I mean, sometimes it, it might, you know, if you're constantly sitting in your house in a dark house, not eating right and complaining about stuff, then maybe that might help, you know, because you're just being more active and you're going out and you're feeling thankful. So it changes, you know, obviously your health and stuff. Um, and it becomes like a, like a well in your, in your, in your heart that it just helps you to run smooth, if that, help, if that kind of makes sense. Um... But uh, more than that, also, uh, it just helps you to be able to deal with things. Um, and so it's not that it's not that the situation isn't bad, isn't any gets any better or anything. It's just that you're able to deal with the situation differently. Thankfulness is something that really impacts us and uh, our whole life and and everything. And, and Proverbs talks about this a lot. And there's this there's this hymn where it says, um, "Count your many blessings." And, and you know, it's just the focus on good things rather than bad things. Um, and the problem is, is that we become so used to uh, focusing on bad things, it's it's hard. And so we think because it's hard, it's something I can't do. But the truth is, at any age, you can relearn habits at any age. If you have always been a negative person, you think, well, I just don't think there's any hope for me. Fear not. There is always hope um, to change. And uh, the any it's like the old saying, old dogs can't learn new tricks. Uh, well, actually, you know. They can. It just might be a little bit harder. It might take a little bit longer, but it, it, the rewards are definitely worth it. Um, so it will increase your increase your mental strength. How how you're able to cope with things like depression, anxiety, and and PTSD and that kind of stuff. You you will be stronger and be more able to focus on the thing or to work through the things. But then also number three, it enhances your psychological health. You won't have some of those things to deal with. You know, for instance, sometimes uh, if we complain too much, we kind of may develop um, certain types of anxiety. Well, when you don't complain so much and you said be thankful, you won't have that anxiety. Not to say that all anxiety will go away, obviously, but I hope you get what I'm saying. So I guess my main point here, don't give up and be thankful. Uh, because there's always, always, always something to be thankful for. Um, there's actually, I use this as an illustration in one of my sermons. There's this road that goes uh, in um, by this town. And uh, on one side, it's completely desert, barren. On the other side, it, there's just completely green. And in the middle is the road. And that's exactly how thankfulness works. You can either focus on this side or you can focus on this side. But you can't look at both at the same time. You only have eyes on one side of your head. you got to stay focused on what you, on what you want to hit. And if you want to be a happy person... Um, start with thankfulness. You you start being thankful, 
you'll happiness will just kind of flow from it and you'll be more equipped to deal with those different things you're going through um and you know i mean really this applies to so many different things um cancer or or, or depression or you know different trials ministry problems i mean you just go down the list thankfulness is really something that always 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 helps um so i hope you have a great monday and i hope the rest of your rest of your week is fantastic see ya